folks out there on Facebook and YouTube world. How you doing? Today is May 1st, 2020. Holy cow, this year is one third over already. Can you believe it? Hi, I'm Mike Lyman. I had some giveaways through the month of April. I want to thank everybody who left a comment on my uh, posts. And uh, let's pick some winners. Let's see who won these things. You ready? I must be as crazy as a loon to keep having my giveaways. But I love them. All right, let's find out who won. You ready? Here we go. If you get a chance, check out my YouTube channel, M.A. Lyman 24. All right. First up for bats was this quarterback copper round. This thing was won by Tim Martin from the Hoover Boys post. Congratulations, Tim. Send me your shipping information. I left you a reply on your comment with my email address. All right, next up was this 1921 Peace Dollar copper round. This one was won by Jennifer Cummins from the Hoover Boys post on Facebook. All right, next up is this beautiful SLQ cop around. This one was won by Dennis Clark from Stealth Digger Nation's Facebook group. Congratulations. All right. <clears throat> next up for grabs is this $500 copper bar. This one was won by Audra Thomas from the M.A. Lyman 24, Mike Lyman's Facebook page. That's me. All right, after that, we have uh, this $500 copper round. This was won by Nancy Banner from Mike Lyman's uh, Facebook group. Congratulations. <clears throat> and this 1967 silver half dollar. This one was won by John Wills from Stealth Diggers Nation's Facebook group. Congratulations. Make sure you all email me your shipping information. Let me know what, what item you won. I'll get it in the mail to you this week. All right, wait, we're not over yet, folks. You ready for this? Next up for grabs is, you got it. You got it, your very own pool bottle, brand new. I threw my little sticker on the back for a ha-ha. All right, you're also going to get this. Your very own Hoover Boys sticker. That was another other than signed by Kurt himself from the Hoover Boys. He says, they get all. All right, who won this? Let's find out. It was... <clears throat> Richard Newland from my Facebook page. Congratulations, Richard. Send me your shipping information. I'll get this mailed out to you. All right, one last prize. I don't know if you can see them here. They're laying around everywhere. There's snake skins everywhere. Even behind me. Well, guess what? I gave one of them away. Who won it? I'll tell you. It was Michael McDonald. He wanted the... Viper snake skin. You got it there, Michael. This was the top left, <clears throat> and that was on my Facebook page as well. <clears throat> so, congrats to all the winners. I replied to all your comments on all the different Facebook groups and with my email address. So, just send me your shipping information, and I'll get these in the mail to you. Congratulations, and thanks for playing along. Loved reading all the comments, a lot of fun. Thanks for the time. No reason to dig too deep on this one. Mikey, what was it? 21, 23? Yeah. Let me see. I got my rag with me, too. Oh, she's out and sounds pretty. Pretty sounding. All right, let's see what she is. Let me turn off my headphones. Oh, she sounds pretty. That sounds nice. Let's see what it is. Wonderful homeowners buying us coffee and donuts. I know. This is the first time I have ever had somebody was she tore, is awesome. the, tore the house inside. She's got to get detecting later. Oh, I know. I bought, I bought my Max. I told her she could use it. She has a beautiful collection of... I hear it. Where are you? What is it, folks? It's in the sand. Looks small. Sounds small. It is a penny. And it's not even an Indian. Is it a weedy at no, least? No, it's not. Is it a memorial? 1810, and we got a memorial. 1810 Memorial? 1810 House, and it's a memorial. Oh, memorial. All right. 1974. Bazinga. Later. What do you got for numbers there? What's that? Oh, yeah. Ooh. 20 to 25. That sounds high. Right. There's a little bit of iron with it. That sounds good. This is right where the perfect was, too. Good luck, bud. It's got a little bit of iron. God, what a beautiful day, huh? This is where the privy used to be, so. Yeah, Stephen Hole over there. The ground's yeah. breaking up. Stiffy signals Stephen over there. Mikey Iffy signals. Too many hobbies, Brett's over there in his beautiful 1810s house. 
Let's see what he got. This ground is breaking up. Keeping our six feet of social distancing. Sweet. She's breaking and up. And she said, don't worry about it either, so I'm not too worried about it. Which is, I can't believe she said that either. <laughs> the place looks so manicured. Very nice. I know. Uh oh. I think I see it, dude. No. Look at that, a bone. Oh, that's a good sign, a bone. Right to your right, what's that thing? I put your pinky. Oh, what do we got? I don't know. Wow. Bracket? Yeah, some type of bracket. Modern bracket. All right. Okay, right, so there's plenty here. We got targets. We got the chicken bone. Call me when you get two more, bud. Yep. Thanks, bud. Sweet. That's right. That's right. I didn't find it. Mikey found it. That's why he's smiling. <laughs> Sweet. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. Keep going. I'm going to stay yeah. in that garage see what else we got back there. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. I love this house. What a great permission. On to the next one. All right. Brett says he's got some signals. Let's see what they are. Uh, we've already got one on the top that I dug out. Just a newer dime. Nice. Modern oh. dime. I know there's another signal underneath here. Let's see what you got. Let's see. than you thought, huh? There, it's in your hand now. Oh, there it is. What is it? It's key. Nope. Key to my heart. Looks like a roundage of a coin. Or no, it's a wee. It's a wee. Sweet. Sweet. All right, let's see what you got in the other plug. Such a good job putting it back. Oh, we tried. The next rainstorm, you won't even be able to tell, hopefully. All right, let's see what you got here, bud. Okay. You got to learn to stay to the side, not the sunlight. Oh, well, let's see. I'll switch with you. There you go. Oh, look at that thing. That's an old brass hinge. That's cool. Maybe you can use it on one of your doors or fences or something. <laughs> awesome. That is cool. Yeah, hold out in your hand, I'll get a picture of it. Not ready. I did find a little key. Not the skeleton key I think she was open for, but I'll give it to her. Check it out. Let me clean it up. Take a look at it. Yeah, it brushed up a little bit. It says something, something, something New York. It's got a little fancy on it though. Pretty cool. All right, go give it to the owner. I couldn't tell. It says something New York. Good find, Mike. Thank you. That's in the front yard, almost next oh, to the road. Bye. You got a lock inside that that might fit or no? Maybe. Sweet. <laughs> wow, she look has at that. a lot of locks. Just in case. I'm filming now. What do you got? What's that number? Yeah, I think it's right here. Yeah, there it is. 80, 81. Oh, good luck, buddy. There it is. Like it. What do you got? All right, let's see what it is. Oh, he's got it in his hand. <laughs> Lead? It's garbage. All right. You gotta love a life, dig. But it's metal. Thanks, right? Steven. Or is it? All right, Brett's saying something. He's got jewelry. Let me take a picture of it first. Holy crap, it looks like silver. Oh my I think it's gold or gold plated. Hold on, let me take a picture of that beauty. What did that ring up as? That was a 57. That's cool. That homeowner looks seriously intense, but hey, you know what you gotta do when you got something like that? You know what you gotta do. You gotta look that food. Let's <laughs> food that thing off and see what it looks like. We got some foo foo juice. That cleans our silver and gold for us. Mike was just all right. She can't stand the suspension anymore, so we're gonna go down and get this extracted and get it food off and take a look at it. She looks pretty. I'm just guessing a pendant. Oh, yeah, it's a little bent, maybe. There's another piece right here. Yeah, there's a piece there. You want to hold that little lariat. piece? That's the uh, that's this thing we got chopped. But oh, no, was it on the edge, dude? All right, let's do what you got to do. Let's spray some food. <laughs> You want to hold that little piece for me? Just hold that little one, yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop. 
get that rose in the center real good. All right, let's take a look at it. The sunlight. Oh, guys, she's shiny. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. It looks awful good to be. Uh, it's not like plated, dude. I think this is real. Let me get my magnifiers out. See if I can see anything. I'll get back to you. Just found this out in the front lawn. Wow! Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Very nice. Speechless. <laughs> Speechless. That is kind of cool. Is that an earring? No, I think it was a brooch. necklace piece. Yeah. It had a had a ring on the yeah. top. Where the ring would go through, and then your necklace would go through the ring. Yeah. You see it's a little worn out there. I think it's gold plated. Yeah. Nice breath. Alright, I just got a slam in uh, 2930. Just dug it up. Ends up being this beautiful bridal rosette. Nice brass. Got some lead. Got the couple of studs for mounting it on it there. Alright, let me clean this up. I'll get back to you. Hey, Mr. Stephen Hall just got a good signal. Got himself a nice little spoon for the homeowner. Check it out. Wow. That's an old one, too. Congrats, bud. All right, buddy. Glad you could make it today. <laughs> Steve's going to make sure this thing comes to coition. He's got himself a deep target. So the deeper it is, the older, right? Deeper, older, bigger, heavier. All the above. You're almost on it right there. It's in the sidewall. Yeah. Ours, the iron. Oh, a buckle. Oh, <gasps> iron buckle. Cool. We got a buckle. Probably ten. Yeah. Very nice. We got a what? A buckle? Yeah. We got a buckle. Iron, nice. iron buckle. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Tack for sure. Bit. Good job, bud. Now that's a buckle from. All right. Yeah. Let's see what it is. You got a live dig going on that's here. Loud, dude. Loud and proud. So where's that mean? It's uh it's real thick. Deep or big or a high number? Uh, no, 99 is real high. 60s uh, could be anywhere from aluminum to brass. Could be a little bronze. Could be a small piece of aluminum. A couple pull tabs together. It's hard to say. I'm still looking here. They come out in the clump. That was you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, I can see what time it is. Hold on. Oh, it's only 12.30. It's only 12.30. We're good. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to MA Lyman 24. Where the sun is shining and the flowers smell great. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go detecting. Thanks for tuning in to MA9 and 24. And it was All right. Shape. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. A nice it's hole here. Shape. Good signal. Solid. The homeowner got it herself on my AT Max. Her first target. Her found herself. A decent one. I think it's a sportsman's button. I'll have to clean it off a little bit. Check see if there's a shank. I'll get right back to you. Hold on. Oh my god, this is the first one ever that I've seen dug when I was there. And the homeowner found it with the AT Max. It's a beautiful, uh, it looks like a Greyhound or a Whippet dog on a button. Very cool. Hope you guys can see it. Sorry, just telling the sun here. That's awesome. Sweet. Congratulations, Carol. Thank you. Nice first target. Nice relic. Good save. Let's scratch this thing. How much is it? Ten dollar, fifteen dollar, and it is twenty five dollar, folks. I'll take it. All right, you folks, two quick wrap ups one with flash, one without. This is what I brought home from the 1810 farmhouse. Uh, the owner kept everything else. I got a 1980 Canadian one cent, 
I got a uh, M Tech key. I got another key from somewhere. It was like Fran something checker 30 New York. I'm not sure what that is. 30th, 30 North. I don't know. Spoon handle. <clears throat> a beautiful sportsman button. I think it's a Greyhound or a Whippet dog on it. Two piece button. And this thing looks like the uh, thing you put your dog thing on, but it looks like they welded onto it or something. But like they cut this ring and welded this bigger ring onto it. Some kind of silver solder maybe or something. I don't know. Weird. That's it. All right, let me do it with the flash on. Alrighty, here's your second wrap up with the flash on. We got an M Tech key. Another one from Fran or uh, France something Fran Francis or Frank Frank. Sun, New York. Oh, Suns. Something in Sun, New York. Got a spoon handle or a utensil handle. Beautiful sportsman button. The Greyhound or Whip Whippet dog on it. And this uh, oversized uh, thing here. Oh, the Canadian penny. 1980. One cent. Sweet. All right. Just made this a little longer to make the uh, premiere video a little longer so you guys can keep chatting, chatting rather. And uh, thanks for coming and tuning in tonight, hanging out with me. Appreciate it. You guys are a lot of fun. And uh, you guys really, believe it or not, are helping me get through this whole uh, thing we're going through. So, thank you. Later.